Hi, this is Noel from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to check and change your radio settings in the S631 web UI. So this is particularly useful when you're troubleshooting any radio issues because you can have the web UI open on one device and Field Genius or another set of the web UI open on another device or even the same device if you're running something like a Mesa. And it just allows you to quickly cross check all of your settings and make sure that they all line up. So what I'm gonna to do to begin here is I've loaded up my web UI, and if you don't know how to do that, I'll just link to a video in the top right corner. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to the settings button there in the top right corner. And that's gonna bring me to my working mode tab here. And I'm gonna to wanna to make sure of a couple of things. I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that my system mode set to Rover or base, it doesn't matter which one it is. And that my current data link is set to UHF. And when I have those two things fulfilled, I can scroll down here and you can see that I have a number of radio settings right here. I have a radio channel, a radio mode, FEC, which stands for forward air correction, and then a button that says advanced UHF settings. And I can use my radio channel drop down there to change the channel to one of the ones that is pre-programmed on my receiver already. And then I can change my radio mode to make sure that my protocol matches between my base and rover or, or whatever other piece of equipment you're using. And then you're also gonna to wanna to make sure that your forward air correction and if the option is applicable, your scrambling all match with the other equipment you're planning to use. And let's say you have a radio channel that's not in one of your pre-programmed radio channels. What are you gonna do at that point? And the answer to that is you're gonna hit that advanced UHF settings button there which is gonna prompt you for a password. And in that password field, you're gonna enter capital Z, lowercase m, capital E, a lowercase h, the number two and y, and then you're just gonna hit okay. And that's actually gonna bring up my channel table. And then in here, I can program the radios to meet the channel requirements I may need. For instance, if you wanna match these channels to your FCC license, you can do that through here. You just type in the correct channel frequency the correct channel spacing, and then hit save there in the bottom right corner when you are complete. So let's say channel four here, I will change to 469.125 megahertz and a 12 and a half kilohertz channel spacing. Do keep in mind that, that that channel frequency has to be a multiple of the channel spacing. So just keep that in mind if you're going to set these. And then you can also change the power wattage to a different value if you would like for this channel. So let's just set it to 500 for the fun of it here. And then you can see I've got 16 channels in total that you can edit. Most of the time you probably won't use more than one or two in the lifetime of the receiver. And if you ever want to reset all of these channels, you can hit default frequency and it will clear them all and give them a value of zero. And then if I scroll back up here, you can see that channel one, I can enter something your other option is that you can import a radio configuration file, and if you need a hand setting one of those up so you don't want to manually enter all those radio channels on your own, we can do that for you. Just give us a holler and we can set that up for you. And then here you would go choose file, and then you would upload the file you need. So you would choose the correct radio configuration file that we would provide. You'd hit upload and it would do so automatically. And that is everything for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about any of the equipment or techniques you've seen on our YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.